Hello everyone and welcome to Free Range Diva. I am so excited because today I have a collab with one of my favorite YouTubers, Natalie the Beauty Diva. Now many of you already know Natalie. You may have found me through her or, or have found her another way, but uh, for those of you who don't, let me just briefly say that Natalie is, when I think of her, I think of warmth, generosity, she is supportive, she is beautiful inside out, and has cornered the market on sophistication and elegance. Natalie's passionate about makeup and skincare, and she knows her masks, uh, as she is a self-described mask fanatic. So when she contacted me and asked if I wanted to uh, go in on this collab with her, I was over the moon. I was, I'm so honored to be doing this with her, and I cannot wait to see what she has in store for all of us on her channel. So I'll link her video below. Be sure and check her out. And uh, if you have found me through Natalie's channel, hello, my name is Cheryl, and uh, welcome. And I just want to tell you that Free Range Diva is a lifestyle channel devoted to healthy aging, green beauty, and living toxin-free. So, uh, yeah, one of the things that I'm pretty passionate about is masks, especially uh, masks that have a lot of natural nourishing ingredients in them. So we're going to talk today about the top, my top five masks for the mature woman. So let's get started. And because I'm not necessarily the brightest bulb, in the uh, in the chandelier, I did that whole intro without lipstick, so I have it on now. It's from On Natural, and it's called On Point. In case you're interested, okay. This is not going to be in any particular order. I couldn't possibly because I love all of these masks dearly. Uh, so we're going to start with from Leolani Skincare. This is the mermaid mask. This is called Superfood for Your Skin. So the goal of this mask is to nourish, uh, hydrate, heal the skin. Uh, it gives you a beautiful glow after you've used it. And it has ingredients in it that include honey, spirulina, sea clay, algae, and hydrating oils like sea buckthorn and geranium and rose. Uh, I have done I think, yeah, I did a, a full video on this mask, so I'm not going to say a whole lot except to say that the smell is wonderful. If you're into aromatherapy, I think you will love this because it has a very light citrusy smell to it. It's a little bit thick. This is a brand new jar, uh, but it's a, little, it's a little bit thick going on. So you have to, because it's got a lot of honey in it. So... I always make sure my skin is damp and then just kind of warm it up in my fingertips before I put it on the skin. Uh, you will get a light exfoliation with this. You will get some drawing of impurities with it. And it's kind of a one and done mask that, uh, you know, attempts to address uh, all of your issues, but it does it in a way that um, tries to improve the uh, skin mantle. A lot of times if we over exfoliate or get too much sun or you can tell your skin uh, gets a little thin, a little shiny, a little red. The idea of this is to heal and soothe and to encourage the skin to build that outer layer back up again, to strengthen and overall improve the health of your skin. So that's why this is on the list. That's why I have a new jar and I will always have this around because, um, you know, even if I only do it once a month, I usually do it twice a month though, um, it, do, it, it really does a great job for, uh, you know, an overall improvement, skin improvement. The, Actually, Leolani is based in uh, Hawaii, as is the next mask that I'm going to talk about. It's from a company called Hanua Skincare, and uh, it's, this is the Aina mask. It says, for the land lovers. <laughs> That's because this mask has charcoal in it, taro root, honey, kale, uh, exotic oils like tamanu, cacao, and Hawaiian chili pepper, among other things. The purpose of this mask is to give your skin a glow, and it really does. 
Uh, that's the first thing that I notice when I uh, do it. Again, I have a full review on this mask, uh, and I'll link that as well, or put it up here in a card or something. Um, but yeah, it's supposed it it the the uh, purpose is to give you a glow, to uh, revitalize the skin and uh, give you a good exfoliation. And um, this mask, although it looks uh, quite thick in the jar, it actually is very light. It goes on like a mousse. It just floats over the skin um, and. Uh, you know, it dries down because there is clay in it, but when you rinse it off, you've got oils and, and other moisturizing ingredients left behind. So when you rinse this off, really, you can. I just go straight into my um, moisturizer. You know, if it's the daytime, I'll put on a daytime uh, moisturizer with sunscreen, and if night, just a regular night moisturizer, and that's all you need. Um, it, it, it gives you that... Korean, what they call glass skin, and we're going to talk about that a little, little bit more. I actually did this before uh, this morning, before filming, and uh, it leaves your skin very, very, very soft and uh, very smooth, and it has that glass-like finish uh, that you get with Korean skincare, and that's, I guess, from the uh, various exfoliation that go, agents that are in the mask. So this is really, really good, uh, especially if you've got texture to the skin or you really need a good exfoliation. It does have some drawing powers, but really um, exfoliation is what this mask is all about. So that's the Ina Mask from Hanua Skincare. So speaking of glass skin, if you want intense hydration and moisturization, uh, if you want that K, what they call the K Beauty Bounce that you get from uh, Korean skincare, if you want that glazed look that of 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 you know bright and hydrated skin, there's nothing like a sheet mask. And uh, here is my favorite sheet mask. This is from Wamisa Skincare. This is their organic seeds and rice hydrogel mask. Uh, this has, there's a, I have a demo of actually me doing it, and again, I'll link it somewhere. Uh, the first ingredient in here is aloe, uh, and then it has a lactobacillus, it has probiotics in here, so you're getting fermentation. You're also, it also has, um, various seed oils and flower essences. Um, this is a very wet mask, but when you put this on and uh, you, you know, leave it on for say 20 minutes or so, when you take this off, all of the, those, that, that, that uh, lactic acid and the, the fermentation that's in here has lifted uh, the you know any all your dead skin cells that you didn't even know you had um, this mask when the first time I used it caused my uh, that once I put the oils on after I let the essence you know dry on the skin and then I put the oils on it my you know like my regular evening oils on there and as I was rubbing it in I could feel my skin start to peel off not unlike what happens when you use um, you know like black soap on your body, you let that sit on your body for like five minutes and then rinse it off and then grab a washcloth and you can feel your, your dead skin will start to just ball up and peel off. This is exactly what happened when I used this mask. The, uh, and what was left behind was that, that juicy, um, really like soaked in hyd hydrated skin, what they call the K-Beauty Bounce. Um, and my skin did feel like glass, much more so than the Ina mask. Um, it kept that, that I've never felt anything that smooth before um, on a human being, for sure. And it kept that feeling for uh, about 10 days. Uh, it was just, uh, and the hydration, you lock it in with a good occlusive moisturizer. And it's amazing. I mean, it can take like five years off your face, literally, one mask. Uh, so, <laughs> needless to say, I'm never going to be without this. And this is probably something you'd want to do maybe once a month, maybe twice a month if you really get addicted to it, like I'm getting addicted to it. Um, 
It can be a little bit difficult to find, but I will link below. I picked this up at my local Credo, but if you don't have a bricks and mortar, and I think it's on, on Credo's online uh, website, as well as sites like Glow Recipe. Um, and uh, there are some masks, because this is not the, the this is the one for anti-aging, but they have other versions of this hydrogel mask. And I know you can find those on Amazon, but I have not yet seen this uh, mask on Amazon. But I will look and find you a good place to get this mask because it can be difficult to get, but it is definitely worth it. But in the category of budget friendly and very easy to find, we have the Instant Lift and Firm Hydro Serum Facial Mask from Angelou, Andalou Naturals. This is in their anti-aging line. This mask has uh, resveratrol, CoQ10. The idea is to hydrate, intense hydration, um, soothing, and replenishing the skin. Again, you're pushing all that, that good old essence into your skin, uh, and then you want to follow it up with a good occlusive moisturizer. Um, this one has aloe as the first ingredient, then water, then, um, oh boy, <laughs> glycerin, stem cells, resveratrol, and um, it's bioactive eight, very complex. This would is not as good in terms of giving you that bouncy skin as the uh, Wamisa mask, but it's pretty, it's, it's very darn close. Um, you're not gonna get the glass skin with this, at least I didn't, but what I did get, and I was very surprised, was instant youth because of all that hydration. Uh, so, you know, if your skin is parched or if you don't think it is, try it anyway, because uh, this, is, this is very easy to find. It's really, really cheap, and uh, it gives you a beautiful, glow, juicy, hydrated uh, skin from Andalou Naturals. My last mask is also going to be from Andalou Naturals. This is their Instant Lift and Firm face mask. And this is, I'm including this because when it comes to drawing power, drawing um, impurities, blackheads, whiteheads, gunk out of your pores, this mask has been the best uh, out of everything that I've tried. Um, it gives you, it doesn't dry out your skin. It doesn't really dry down very much like you would expect a clay mask to because it does have a lot of hydrating ingredients in here, but it really uh, pulls, you know, it pulls stuff out of your skin, leaving your skin extra, extra clean. So uh, this has aloe again as the first ingredient, glycerin, water, French clay is the uh, clay that uh, gets things out. It also has marula oil in here, which is, you know, one of those oils that I really, my skin really likes. And uh, it helps to stimulate your circulation so that your appearance is firmer uh, and smoother looking. This again, uh, Angela is a fab fabulous company. I've, you know, if you're familiar with this channel at all, you know that, that I love their products. I've featured a lot of their products. I've had giveaways of their products. So, um, you know, it's, it's, again, easy to find, very, very affordable. And they have a lot of these pod masks. I've tried most of them. And of the ones that I've tried, this is hands down my favorite. So before I sign off, I do want to mention one other mask that I had hoped to show you today, but uh, um, it's from a company called Natural Logic, and it's their Luna. Let me give you the full name of it. It's the Luna Red Wine Probiotic and Antioxidant Mask. And uh, I'll put a picture of it up here because I ordered it, but uh, that was about a week ago, and I haven't received it. In fact, uh, it still hasn't even shipped. <laughs> So I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, the reason that I did want to mention it, I'm going to do a full video on it once I get it, but I did want to mention it because uh, this particular mask is um, it's only available once a year with the grape harvest. Yeah, so it finally became available last week, which is why I couldn't have ordered it before, um, but it, it features uh, the, the, red, the bioferment from the red wine, so it's got a lot of probiotics and fermentation going on in there. It also has uh, kale and clay, shea, honey, and cacao, as well as a host of um, you know, nourishing oils, raspberry, cranberry, you get the idea. 
Um, it's the resveratrol in it is much uh, is is much more bioavailable because of all the fermentation, and it's definitely sounds like a mask that if you have mature skin, you're gonna love. I anticipate I'm going to love it. Everyone that I know that has tried it has loved it, and um, you know just stay tuned because it is coming, uh, and hopefully I'll get it and be able to feature it before they sell out. But if you want to, uh, you know, go ahead and check it out for yourself then I'll leave a link to the mask below as well. Okay, everybody, that's it for my top five masks for mature ladies collab. Make sure you go over and check out Natalie's uh, video as well. I'm going to do that uh, right now. But uh, in the meantime, everyone, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up, please. And uh, consider subscribing. Just hit that subscription button so you won't miss my next misc so you won't miss my next video. All right, everybody, until I see you again, take very good care of yourselves, have a great day, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye, everyone.